welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. It is December, you all know that. We're getting ready today, we're getting ready to finally bake some Christmas cookies. But we are going to make dinner in the pressure cooker slash crock pot cooker, whatever you want to call it. Um, because I don't have time to stop and cook dinner later, so I went, cook, I went dinner to cook all by itself. And Rick just said, I thought this was a prepper's pantry, and it is going to be a prepper's dish because we're going to use everything from food storage to make this meal. Um, and I had a ham steak in the fridge, we're going to use that because of what I had on hand. And really, prepping is about using what you have on hand and using it creatively. And today we're going to make a 15 bean soup. And I know you all know how to make your own bean soup, but this is just how I make ours. And I thought I would share it because I'm going to use the crock pot today and um, the pressure cooker, pardon me, because I forgot to soak my beans last night. And I could probably throw this in the crock pot and have it come out fine later, but I want to go ahead and put it in the pressure cooker for just about five minutes under pressure. That way it really helps those beans to soak up all that flavor and become soft. So this is what we're going to do. I've got my um, pressure cooker over here all ready to go. I have the regular slow cooker lid ready, and I have the pressure lid ready, and these are or when I store those things. <clears throat> so, um, I've got two cups of, this is just that 15 bean soup mix. I never use the packet that comes with it. I have rinsed these well. Um, I like to get whatever is on the outside of them off. And um, so I rinsed them in some hot water and I'm just gonna stick them. And why are we, and why are we doing this in a pressure cooker? Um, because I forgot to soak my beans last night. Um, it was one of those things. All day long, I have to remember to soak the beans, and we were so busy. Um, I'm going to do a video in just a little while and show you why I was so busy. But during the renovation, I had all of my craft stuff in Micah's bedroom, and we bought two cabinets to put my craft things in. Well, if you think organizing a lifetime's worth of accumulated craft material is easy, you're wrong. So, <laughs> it's okay. I'll share that with you later. Um, in here, uh, I went ahead and decided I'm going to go ahead and use my dehydrated stuff. So I've got a quarter cup each of carrots, dehydrated celery, dehydrated onion, and then I also have my spices in here. I have a teaspoon each of garlic powder, marjoram, sage, thyme, and a little handful of tiny little bay leaves. In they go. This is going to be no brainer. Um, I'm also going to put in a can of Rotel or, you know, diced green chilies and tomatoes. So let me grab the can opener, which I forgot to take out, which is now jamming the drawer. I'm sure that I am no different than the rest of you. Sometimes I think my house shrinks in the middle of the night. My house is already small to begin with, but uh, sometimes I think that it retaliates against me. This is a packet of ham seasoning. This ham bouillon comes in these little packets. You can find this in the Latin food section of your grocery store. And if not, you can probably buy it online. It is put out by Goya. It's very, very flavorful. And yes, it has MSG in it. If you prefer not to use MSG, then don't use it. You can throw a ham bone in there. I don't have one right now, so we're just going to go with this. This is what I have on hand. This is what's easy. And like I've said in other videos, MSG doesn't bother us. No, Nobody here has an aversion to it. So we're going to use what we have. This bouillon is by Shirley J. And this has no MSG in it. I used a tablespoon in there because this is very powerful stuff. And I'm going to throw my ham in here. This is one ham steak. It is about a pound of ham. I just cubed up. And then you're going to laugh at me. I'm going to turn on my hot water. And I'm just going to fill this puppy up. And I'm going to give it a stir. And then putting a lot of water in here, you have to remember those beans need to hydrate. And then the vegetables need to hydrate. So... We're going to put as much water as we can. Which is about 
there is where I'm comfortable. There's a fill line in there, but it's a little too full if you ask me, if you put it up to that line. So later on, what I probably am going to do is when I get finished baking cookies and the girls and I are going to be decorating, and we're going to do a lot of videos today because I have one base butter cookie recipe that I use, and then we make uh, three or four different things from it. So we're going to be busy, busy today. Okay. On with the pressure lid. And let's set it. On this particular unit, you have to tell it what function you want. So I want soup. This doesn't have a dried bean um, setting. So we're going to put it on soup. And I'm going to, whoops. There we go. And I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes under pressure. And then after it depressurizes, I'm going to take the pressurizer lid off of it. And I'm just going to put it on keep warm. And I'm going to put the regular lid on it. When this is ready to depressurize, I'll come back and I'll show you. When, when I'm ready to take the lid off of it like that, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So we'll be back soon. Okay. The um, pressure cooker has come to a stop. It stopped hissing, and I let it sit for an additional 15 minutes after it stopped because it's under pressure, and um, I don't want it to boil over and hurt anybody. So you can see, look at that. It smells amazing. It does smell fantastic, and I just want to see. The beans are a little bit soft, but they're not done yet. So we're going to let this cook on warm for the rest of the day. And um, and then we're going to have dinner. So I think it looks great. We're just going to put the lid on it. Perfect day. It's like in the low 50s. Lid. And we're just going to keep it warm. And it's going to cook. And it'll be happy. So when it's time to eat, I'll bring you back and I'll fix you a bowl of this delicious 15 bean soup. Okay, supper time. Our bean soup was cooked under pressure for 15 minutes, and then I let it sit. I boiled it, actually. I set the, What you can do is you can set the, this pot um, to cook on the soup setting, and I set it for an hour, and it simmered. I added a little more water because it cooked down a little, and then I just set it on keep warm for the rest of the afternoon. And these beans are nice and soft, and I have to tell you, we already snuck a taste, and it is delicious. So, here we go. There's a spoon for you. We have a lovely loaf of bread to have with supper tonight. And that was easy as can be, because we're knee deep in Christmas cookie baking. And I didn't need to take time out to cook supper separately. So, I hope you try this, and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see ya.